calendars solar lunar or lunisolar now the most important solar calendar that we come across is the gregorian calendar the most important lunar calendar that we are familiar with is the hijri calendar and the most important lunisolar calendar is the shaka calendar or the indian national calendar now let's understand before beginning with all this what is a difference between a solar year a lunar year and a lunisolar year so solar year is when we talk about the earth being rotating outside uh, or basically earth revolving around the sun so when earth revolves revolves around the sun we have two halves that are understood the uttarayan and the dakshinayan the uttarayan is the rising phase and dakshinayan is the declining phase and one solar year is interestingly equal to one day and one night for god when it comes to lunar year you have the year being divided into the lunar months which are also known as 12 lunations or synodic years so you have the synodic year or lunation which is another word used for the solar months and this solar day Uh, is usually consisting of uh, the solar month usually consists of twenty nine point two to twenty nine point eight days, so it's smaller than the Gregorian month. Now, when it's smaller than the Gregorian month, what would happen is you would have each days which would be accumulated from each of the month, and every two and a half years you would have an extra month that would be there, and this extra month is what is known as the adhik mas. So. adhik mas comes from the lunar calendar that we try to understand which is of lesser number of days so each month which is around 29 days approximately so you have one or two days that remain in every month so every two and a half years that's every third and fifth year we have a adhik mas that is there which is accumulation of these days added up towards the end and finally a lunisolar year where you consider year on the cycle of solar calendars however when you consider months on a lunar basis clear so when you have year on a solar basis and months on the lunar basis we have the lunisolar calendar now lunisolar calendar is basically the adjustment of days and months which takes place during this time Now interestingly under the solar month we have the 12 constellations or the 12 rashis which become the 12 months and these are the 12 zodiac signs as well varying from the aries to the sagittarius as we have here the hindi version of a lunar day is what is known as tithi however the solar day is what is known as divas this tithi is smaller than the divas divas is 24 hours however tithi is 23 hours and 37 minutes so tithi is smaller than divas that means the lunar day is smaller than the solar day now this tithi can be further divided into ghatika pal and vipal now one day and night which is 24 hours is equal to how much ghatikas it's equal to 60 ghatikas that means one ghatika is around 24 minutes so one ghatika is 24 minutes and this one ghatika includes 60 pal now each pal makes it 24 seconds and this pal is further subdivided into vipals which is 160th of a pal so one vipal is 160th of a vipal again or i could say one pal would have 60 vipals again two ghatikas taken together form mohurat and which is considered as a auspicious period or a auspicious time and that is 48 minutes so there could be one mohurat and an next mohurat one auspicious another inauspicious which varies from 48 hours 48 minutes and 48 minutes so each mohurat would be two ghatikas taken together which is 48 minutes so we understood what is the solar month the examples of the solar month we understood the concept of the lunar day and the solar day that is the tithi and the divas tithi is the lunar day divas is the solar day and further classification of the tithi under ghatika pal and vipal now coming on to the major calendars so in indian system we had two major calendars the first was the vikram samvat and later we had the shak samvat vikram samvat was laid down by king vikramaditya of ujjain in the malwa ganarajya and that was much much ahead of the 
ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर द सोलर ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम विच इज नियरली फिफ्टी सिक्स ईयर्स अहेड ऑफ द सोलर ग्रिगोरियन कैलेंडर ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम दिस विक्रम संवर हैड थ्री फिफ्टी फोर डेज एंड ट्वेल्व मंथ्स विच इज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम चैत्र टूल फाल्गुन नाउ अगेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अधिक मास वॉज एप्लीकेबल हियर वेयर द लूनर मंथ्स वर टेकन इन टू कंसिड्रेशन एंड द एक्स्ट्रा मंथ वॉज एडेड एवरी थर्ड एंड द फिफ्थ ईयर सो अधिक मास वॉज टेकन इन टू अकाउंट द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कैलेंडर दैट वॉज फोकस्ड वॉज द शक संवत बेस्ड ऑन विच वी हैव द प्रेजेंट नेशनल कैलेंडर ऑफ इंडिया नाउ द शक संवत वॉज गिवन बाय शैली वाहन किंग नाउ शैली वाहन किंग वॉज देयर अराउंड सेवेंटी एट ए डी एंड ही बेसिकली ब्रॉट अबाउट अ मर्जर ऑफ द सोलर एंड द लूनर कैलेंडर एंड दैट्स द बेसिस ऑफ द इंडियन नेशनल कैलेंडर विच इज द शक संवत एंड दैट इज अ लूनी सोलर कैलेंडर एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ड अबाउट सो दिस शक संवत starts with the month of chaitra which is the first month and ends with the month of phalgun which is the last month and according to the shak it is started from the 23rd march you have a new year that begins and 22nd march was the last period hijri calendar which is a lunar calendar started with 1622 ad and that was considered as a zero year you have 12 months that are given under a hijri calendar the first month is known as the muharram where any kind of travel or business is prohibited the ninth month is which is known as ramzan which is the month of fasting and purification and each of the month having their own importance one of the month is known as safar itself the second month where you consider it most auspicious for travel business and any other uh, purpose so this hijri calendar again had 354 days that was there and this was given by prophet muhammad a lunar calendar the next is the gregorian calendar the gregorian calendar is a solar calendar which has 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes and 46 seconds and this was done on the birthday of lord christ and it is one of the most scientific calendars that is considered uh, the first day of this month of this year starts with 1st of january so with every 1st of january you have a new gregorian calendar that begins similarly you have zoroastrian calendar zoroastrian calendar interestingly has two new years one new year comes on the equinox which is 21st march and that is the known as the jamshedji navroz and the other is known as kadmi which comes on the 31st of august so two new year new years that are considered under the zoroastrian calendar and finally the most popular unisolar uh, lunisolar calendar which is the indian calendar or the national calendar of india the shaka calendar or the shaka samvat that we say it was adopted officially in 1957 under the national calendar reforms committee and therefore the 30 different calendars that were used on the land of india were unified under one calendar system now this calendar system begins with the first month as chaitra starting from 22nd of uh, march and it, it initially came into use on 22nd of march uh, 1957 from where it was officially beginning and uh, it consists of 12 nakshatras or constellations that are talked about and each rashi consists of two nakshatra into it so that was the basis of the calendar system we would be covering many more interesting lectures on indian culture stay tuned for many more interesting updates have a wonderful day ahead